Knox's Breville, sous chef, 16 cup food processor, and I have my son here to help me. I just got this food processor. Uh, I ordered it on April the 2nd from William Sonoma, but it took two months before I received this item. So I can't wait to open it and just kind of do some test. And uh, yeah, let's go. It's this Bravo Sous Chef 16 Peel and Dice. I went all the way to top of the line, which received the uh, Peel and Dice. And we're going to show you uh, the features. And I'm sure you find plenty of uh, videos already on YouTube. But this is my unboxing. inside this uh, uh, storage so uh, you're not gonna miss out which is which and this one is the mini uh, chopping blade this one is the mini chopping blade and continue on this is the dough blade which is you want to knead dough and uh, this one is the uh, dicing spindle a dicing spindle and this is the whisk the whisk disc and also have wow very careful you have to be careful with it this one is the adjustable slide with the disc spindle so uh, a lot of uh, different parts I'm not gonna go in oh this is the brush so you can you know wash it if you need to so I'm not gonna get into too much of detail I'm going to try to put it together so we can uh, start testing, maybe starting with a potato peel and maybe make some french fries. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, using this Bravo Sous Chef 16 cup food processor to peel my potatoes. However, I, my potato is like a huge, like this big. So I cut it in, you know, three sections. So and I use this spindle in like this. So uh, I'm gonna put this in. Hopefully will work and just kind of test it out and maybe four at a time and uh... okay. okay, so the potatoes in, I turn the power on and I set the uh, timer as 25 seconds. And let's just give it a try, just hit the uh, start button. So I'm going to hit the start button. Hopefully it will work. Insert pusher. Oh yeah. Oh, I need to insert pusher. So is this the pusher? All right, let's see. Exciting, okay, because I don't know how well this works. So gotta open it and take a look. Not bad. Should we do more? Like maybe more? Oh, wow. So let's do t uh 15 more seconds and push her here. <laughs> So time to make some french fries and as you can see these are six well one two five little uh potatoes it's already been peeled now a hundred percent but it's okay so i'm gonna use continue on to make french fries so i use the spindle with french fry disc you insert it and then you will put the top and making sure it's lined up with this like this and then making sure the bottom line up Okay, whoops, where, oh, so I need to put my potato in like this, and then making sure my pusher, and I'm going to see, I'm gonna just test it out. Um, 
one. So I'm going to press star, start again. Why is it not working? All right, so. For some reason, the machine wouldn't turn on and keep saying that we need to insert the uh, pusher, okay? And no matter how I put it in, it just won't work. So I went on the internet and I found out the reason the machine won't turn on, even I put in the pusher, is because you see the handle here? The handle has to be in the front, okay? Let me show you guys. Because let's say if I move it, okay, like this, right? If I place the handle in the back, for example, like this, the handle in the back is not going to work if I do it. You see, it's not going to work. But if I turn around, put the uh, this handle in the front, you see, it's working. So I'm going to make some French fries using Bravo sous chef 16 cup. Okay, so let's let's do it. Alright, so I put the French fry uh, in the back and add some salt and pepper so bake and shake. We're going to put it in the air fryer right now. Okay, we put it in the air fryer. It's about how many potatoes? Four, right? Four potatoes. Okay. And now 360 degrees and for let's say 15 minutes. Then we'll check it. Okay, be back. After about 20 minutes, uh, let's take a look. Wow, look at this. 